One more time. I'm going to scream. I just wish there was a way I could jump ahead two days so my recital would already be over. Oh, come on, Dinah. You know what a recital is. It's a music program where the students play their pieces for the people in the audience. Which means if you hit a bunch of clunkers, it could be really embarrassing. Let's see. What computer game do I want to play? Well, I'm just taking a short break, Dinah. I'm entitled. Besides, I'm as ready as I'll ever be for that recital. I can get all the way through my piece without hitting a single wrong note. <laughs> okay, so maybe I do hit one or two clunkers. And maybe I should practice some more so I don't regret it tomorrow. But I need to get away from it for a while. And I know just the place to go for a quick getaway. <laughs> No. Here, would you hand me the wrench? Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Get yeah. Uh, no, no, the monkey wrench. Oh. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. 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 There. <laughs> Our time machine is ready for a test run. Did you really build a machine that can take a person forward and backward in time? Not just one person. This time machine can comfortably seat four adults. And still have room for a dormouse in the glove compartment. Want to travel into the past with us? No, thanks. I was just there yesterday. Suit yourself. But personally, I am going to take some time out for time travel. Machine. Great mysteries and secrets will unravel. We'll see things that no one else has seen. It's time now for time travel. We're incredible creators, you and me. Now we can journey back through history. We can go explore millions of years and see if dinosaurs had business careers. Yes, it's time to travel. I just had a thought. Uh-oh. Since we now have the means to go back in time, we could help out a friend who regrets having done something. You're right. If somebody is sorry for something he did, we can travel into the past and stop him before he does it. And then humbly accept thank yous, kudos, and modest tokens of appreciation. <laughs> stroll around Wonderland and see if we can find someone who wishes he could go back and change the past. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, I I can't remember when I've been so embarrassed. Oh, that darn duchy tricked me into coming to a party loaded with her friends. And then she proceeded to skunk me in five straight games of frivolous pursuit. Oh. Frivolous pursuit? Wow. I've never heard of that game. Oh, well, you have to answer questions that are trivial, silly, slight, trite, and completely unworthy of serious consideration. And I couldn't answer a single one. That's bad? Of course it's bad. I've always prided myself on being an expert on useless information. Oh, Alice. I just wish I'd never gone there. Did you hear that? If only I hadn't let the Duchess talk me into going to that party yesterday. I made a fool out of myself. And I'll regret it for the rest of my life. If 
I could only turn back time. have given a million more bucks to somebody if he'd just stopped me from going to see the Duchess. Well, here. Looks like we found our person. Somebody who wishes she could go back and change the past. You would have thought Her Majesty would have any regrets. Except, of course, for unsightly ring around the turban. At last, we can do something for our deserving queen. And we'd do this for her even if we weren't going to get a token of appreciation in return. Yeah, we would? Mm -hmm. Oh, of course we would. But a million tokens of appreciation sure wouldn't hurt. <laughs> Quick, into the time machine. Yeah. There, do you have to slam the door? Ooh. Sorry. Yeah, all right. First, let's set the time. <laughs> Three o'clock. Excuse me, but my watch stopped. Do you have the time? As a matter of fact, we do. It's three o'clock. Mm, that's a pretty goofy looking timepiece. It's not a timepiece, it's a time machine. It can take a person forward or backward in time. Uh, Here, we'll show you. Yeah, uh, see, we've already set the time, now we'll set the day. <laughs> From today to yesterday. Stand back, Cat! Because once I throw this switch, the time machine will completely disappear from today. And reappear in yesterday. How will you know it worked? Uh, well, for one thing, we'll know it worked because you won't be here to ask the time. Huh? You see, yesterday at 3 o'clock, you showed up to borrow a pint of cream. So see you later, Cat. Or should we say, see you yesterday? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. That goofy gizmo never disappeared into the past. It's still sitting there. Hmm. But I've got an idea how I can make those two dizzy time travelers think it works. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Hatter, is it yesterday yet? Let's find out. <clears throat> Look! The control panel says yesterday. We're back in the past! Excuse me, may I borrow a pint of cream? <laughs> you sure may! Get here! Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that proves it! The time machine works! Right, because the cat borrowed cream just like he did yesterday. <laughs> Today? Yesterday. Today. Yeah, uh, here, uh, there isn't time right now for the obligatory time travel confusion. We've got to get to the palace and stop the queen from going to see the duchess. Oh, yeah. <laughs> here, do you have to slam the door? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Oh, we'd better hide this. We sure wouldn't want anyone to take it and leave us stranded in the past. I'll say. I had a miserable day yesterday. <laughs> Today? Yesterday. Alrighty. Yesterday. Today. Today. Now let me get this straight, Dutchie. I'm invited for the weekend for a little rest, relaxation, and schmoozing. That's right. Ha! You must think I was crowned yesterday. No, I don't. 
You're just trying to get me back over there for another humiliating round of frivolous pursuit. That's not true, I am not. You're not? We were playing a game. No game playing at all? All right. Oh, good. As long as you're not fibbing. Really? I'm not fibbing. Come on over. Well, I'll throw a few things together and grab the four o'clock train. Hey. See you soon. Hey. Your Majesty, may we have a word with you? Oh, sorry. I'm on my way out. Uh, no, that, that's okay. That's okay. Yeah, we already knew you were on your way out. <laughs> How did you know that? We can't tell you. It would boggle your mind. Bye. Try me. We can't. You'll just have to trust us when we tell you you'll be very sorry if you go see the Duchess. How did you know that's where I was going? We can't tell you. It would boggle your mind. Try me. We can't. You'll just have to trust us when we tell you you'll be very sorry if you allow yourself to get sucked into a game of frivolous pursuit. Oh, but the Duchess assured me there would be no... Hey, how did you know that? And don't you dare say you can't tell me because it would boggle my mind. Can we say we can't tell you because your brain can't possibly fathom another dimension because it is light years outside the range of your everyday experience? Oh, the both of you, get out of my oh, way! Oh, oh, please, Your Majesty, you're making us do something we don't want to do. Here, did you bring the electrical tape? Of course, I always bring the electrical tape. Oh, there you have it. Okay. Right. Here you go. Go to it. trap you in your palace like this, Your Majesty, but we can't let you go see the Duchess. You'll thank us for this later. The only thing I'll thank you for is taking the tape off my door. <laughs> oh, I'll just go out the back. All right. Wait. The, 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 your back! <laughs> Looks like we need to ask someone for help on our time travel mission. But doesn't that mean we'll have to split the Queen's reward? Yes. But remember, a million woe bucks is easier to split than a banana. <clears throat> I say we ask the Tweedles to help us. But why the Tweedles? Well, you know, the Tweedles, they won't ask a lot of questions. All right, what's this all about? And don't leave anything out. Here, I'm afraid it's time we put our cards on the table. <laughs> Well, I sure can't beat that hand I fold. Come on, you two, you're stalling. All right. I know this is going to be hard to believe, but we are the Hatter and the Hare from the future. 24 hours in the future, to be exact. And we've traveled back here in a time machine to stop the Queen from doing something she is going to regret tomorrow. Regret so much that she said she'd gladly have given a million Wobux to somebody if they had just stopped her. A million Wobux? Dee, did you hear that? Yes, and also heard the part about a time machine. Sorry, guys, but my brother and I are not so easily taken in by fantastic stories of time travel. Right, Dumb? Uh, right, Dee. <laughs> a time machine. We'll believe it when we see it. Going to retain the right to withhold belief till the thing is in sight. They may be wrong, yeah, they just might. We're doubtful, yet we're hopeful. We're just waiting for an eyeful. This time machine could be quite a hit, but we'll believe it when we see it. We'll believe it when we see it. Machine would be supreme, a supernatural machine with a shiny sheen like a limousine. But first of all, it must be seen. We're doubtful, yet we're hopeful. We're just waiting for an eyeful. This time machine could be quite a hit, but we'll believe it when we see it. We'll believe it when we see it. So you'll believe it when you see it, huh? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Look, there really is a time machine. Oh, please. Looks like just a bunch of nuts, bolts, wire, and tape. Well, actually, it's, uh, just a 
bunch of nuts, bolts, wire, and tape. But it's got a five-year warranty. <laughs> and those years can be in the future or the past. Uh, come on, we'll give you a test drive and prove to you it works. <laughs> oh, no, uh, this model comes in a two-door. <laughs> oh, wow, this is... do you have to slam the door? Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'll switch the day from yesterday to tomorrow. <laughs> uh, hang on, it's back to the future. <laughs> See, it works. The control panel clearly says Tomorrow. Of course it says tomorrow. You just switched it to say tomorrow. That's a very interesting theory, Dee. But I'm afraid we don't have time to discuss it. We have to get back to the past. <laughs> so, I guess we can count on you now to help us in our time travel mission. <gasps> You have got to be kidding. <laughs> Boy, it's harder than I thought to convince people that time travel is real. I guess it just takes a special kind of mind to believe the two of us. How true that is. Over. Over. Can you imagine, Caterpillar? D and Dumb didn't believe us when we told them we were brave time travelers on a bold mission from the wonderland of tomorrow. Can't imagine why. Wait a minute. Color me doubtful, but I don't think you believe our story either. Well, may I be completely honest with you? Why? Have you been telling us stories up till now? Well, as a matter of fact, yes. But now I think you should hear this one. Once there was a tiny turtle tot named Tony. One night, just as he was about to pull into his shell for bed, he saw something very unusual. It's a flying saucer, he said. He ran as fast as his tiny turtle legs could carry him to tell his friends. But none of his friends believed him. There's no such thing as a flying saucer, they said. And Tony believed them. The next night, even though there was no such thing, Tony saw another flying saucer land. Once again, he ran off to tell his forest friends. And once again, his friends talked him into believing that he hadn't really seen what he thought he'd seen. The next night, the no such thing landed again. But this time, Tony decided to leave his friends out of it. There, in the clearing, just as plain as the shell on his back, was a flying saucer. But Tony soon found out that these were friendly spacemen, and they had brought with them a lot of cool video games. So Tony learned a very valuable lesson. You should never let somebody talk you out of something you know to be true, because if you do, you might miss something that's out of this world. Oh, so you're saying that the classic conflict of man versus animal extends even to extraterrestrials and turtles. Well, stories are open to interpretation. What I'm saying is, if you believe strongly in something, it shouldn't matter to you whether other people believe it or not. Right. There's an additional moral. If nobody else believes you, you don't have to share the million woe bucks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm over here now. Oh, sorry, your majesty. It's just that it's a teensy, teensy... It's a bit difficult to see you around all of this luggage. Are you suggesting I overpack? Oh, no, Your Majesty. I would never suggest that you overpack. <laughs> because I do all the packing. Ah, the train's here. Come, Rabbit. Oh, oh Your Majesty. Oh, stand back, you two. 
I'm going to visit the Duchess, and you're not going to stop me. Oh, of course not, Your Majesty. We just felt so terrible about what happened this morning that we, uh, stopped by to help Rabbit with the luggage. Oh. Well, thank you, Hat. <laughs> it does get a bit much for one bunny. Even when the suitcases have these handy-dandy, easy-glide anti-lock wheels, <laughs> that is... Oh, that's just this nugget. Yeah, I can tell. Nice monogram. Oh, 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 now I can't spend the weekend with the Duchess. Oh, Your Majesty, if you'd gone to see the Duchess, you'd have regretted it. But maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but soon. And for the rest of your life. Oh, get out of my way, you chuckle ass. Get out of my way. <laughs> Hurry up, dear. I'm anxious to get back to the future to collect our million woe bucks. <laughs> Do you have to slam the door? Sorry. <laughs> now, I'll set the control panel for exactly one minute before the Queen said to Alice that she'd gladly have given a million Wobucks to somebody if they just stopped her from going to see the duck. That way, as soon as she says it, we'll be right there to step up and collect our reward. Yeah. <laughs> Hang on, Hare. <laughs> Oh, uh, here, uh, your door. And please, don't... I know. I won't slam it. Will you look at that? We only put one day on this thing, and it already needs a tune-up. First, I was angry with the hat on hair for making me miss my train. But then I... The Duchess was planning to ambush me with an entire weekend of frivolous pursuit. Well, after I heard that, I was so happy that they made me miss my train that I... Uh... Oh, Mr. Rowdy, look out! <laughs> Hatter! Hatter! I say, what are you two doing in the Queen's bushes? Checking for root rot? Uh, actually, Your Majesty, I'm ashamed to admit it, but we were eavesdropping. Oh, but it's not as bad as it sounds, because we were just waiting for you to say something we've already heard you say. I beg your pardon. Her Majesty never repeats anything. That's right. I never repeat anything. But I do want to say thanks to both of you for making me miss my train. A sneaky little Duchy was trying to rope me into another humiliating round of frivolous pursuit. How did you know the Duchess was setting a trap for the Queen? No, oh, let's just say we were in the right place at the right time. <laughs> and speaking of time, Your Majesty, isn't it about time for you to say something? Like what? Like you'd gladly have given a million wool bucks to somebody if they just stopped you from going to see the Duchess. And humiliating yourself in a game of frivolous pursuit. <laughs> Why would I say that? I didn't go see the Duchess. No, indeed, because you two stopped Her Majesty at the train station. <laughs> oh, no. I just realized something. Because we stopped her from going, we stopped her from being humiliated. And since she wasn't humiliated, she has nothing to regret. And since she has nothing to regret... She has no reason to offer a million woe bucks to the people who kept her from regretting it. I guess it serves us right. After all, if man were meant to travel through time, he'd be able to get frequent flyer miles for trips to the fourth dimension. I bet you two are happy. You saved the queen in the nick of time. She was moments from disaster, as close as she could be. It would have been so painful, a royal calamity. In the nick of time, without a moment to spare. I was rescued by two heroes, the hatter and the hare. In the nick of time, before today became tomorrow. They did what friends would do, to spare me any sorrow. Tomorrow never happened, the future still at hand. Filled with pride and promise,
sorry, Dinah. I can't play with you right now. My break is over and I have to go back and practice the piano. I've decided my piece could use a little... a lot more work. Unfortunately, I think I'm admitting that just in the nick of time. You see, <laughs> I don't want to be standing here tomorrow after bombing out at the recital, wishing I could go back in time and practice some more. <laughs>